In this video tutorial, I will show you how to swap the door panel of any door family to different ones using nested shared families that are already in the project. Let me give you an example. This is a single door. I'm going to edit type. In the bottom, you can see this parameter and I can swap from this uh, panel type one to panel type three, for example. I can actually reuse the same panel, exact same panel family for this double door because it also has this parameter. So you can see I switched to panel number three. And this is actually referring to the same family that is right here. This is the nested shared family. And if I go to the type properties of this one, and for example, I was to play with some of these values, for example, distance bottom, which I switched to two inches, you can see it affects on both the single door and the double door. Again, this door are using the nested shared panel families. To accomplish something like this, I will show you all of the steps. In this case, we have a door family that is complete, except that it's currently missing the panel. So we're going to add the door panel to this one. First, let's create a new family. We're going to use the generic family template. So don't use the door uh, template because we don't want to have a wall hosted family. We want a standalone family. So use generic model. And the first thing you're going to do, click on the yellow folder and switch the family category to doors instead of generic model. And there are two boxes that you must check as well. It is shared to make it a shared family that multiple uh, doors can use in the same project and also make it work plane based. Now we're going to add some additional reference planes. So just draw a rectangular shape, something like this. And you can add dimensions to add EQ to ensure that the center reference planes are actually centered. So clicking on EQ like this. Now I'm going to add another dimension here, another one just over there. I'm selecting this one and in the label dropdown, I'm going to pick width. And for this one, I'm going to select thickness. I can adjust the values to something a bit more reasonable. Okay, that's good enough. Now let's go to the front elevation of the family and add a new reference plane. And again, add a dimension and assign the height parameter and switch to a value that's a bit more reasonable. Let's say seven feet. Now we're ready to model an extrusion. So pick the extrusion tool in the create tab. In this case, we're just going to create a flat, boring panel family, but you can model anything you want. Just ensure that you're using the proper parameter like width, thickness and height. So I'm going to model this shape and click on the lock icon to ensure it's constrained to the reference planes. In the front elevation, I'm going to drag the arrows up there and click on the lock icon. Something odd that you notice is that the panel is blue. So we're going to go to the manage tab and go to object styles. For some reason, when you switch from the generic model category to the doors category, uh, some weird things might happen in the object style. You can see all the colors are messed up. So first I'm going to replace this blue uh, with black, especially for the panel subcategories like this. I'm also going to change the line weight to one and three. Typically when you load this into an actual project, it should be fixed, but just because it's kind of visually annoying, I'm still going to fix it uh, right now. Another step that you must take is to select the door panel and in subcategory here, we're going to set it to panel. And finally, I'm going to create, click on the small rectangle and associate the material family parameter. Uh, let's make it instance base and I will call this panel material. Something else is that since this is a shared nested shared family, we won't have access to the type parameters inside of the host family. So I'm not going to explain all the features of shared family, but so the thing that you must do is you must select all the parameters, the dimensions and click on instance parameter. So click here for the width, for the thickness, and in the front elevation, select the height and click on instance. Okay, that is good enough for now. We're ready to load the family into the project, uh, not into the project, into the other family. So I'm going to load this into this family that is called uh, single tutorial. Okay, and right now, since this is uh, a work plane based family, by default, it's trying to be placed on the face. But instead, you should select the option that says place on work plane. And by default, it's going to be placed on level, which is good enough. 
Now I must associate all the dimensions. You can see because we've switched them to instance, they appear right here in the instance properties. First, let's associate the thickness. Then let's associate the width. And now let's do the height. You can see the dimensions should match the one of the hole of the door. Now let's go to a floor plan view. You can see my panel is right here. And I need to align and lock to reference planes. So I'm using the align tool, selecting, make sure to select this center reference plane and picking the one from the nested panel family. And same thing, you can see here, there's another uh, reference plane. I'm going to use this reference and putting it like this. Now, inside of your project, you don't want to see this panel in plan view. So I'm going to select this nested panel family and uncheck the visibility for a plan RCP. And if you preview the visibility, you can see it's actually not visible and it, you will not see it in plan views inside of your project. You will only see it in, uh, in section, elevation, and 3D views. You can notice there's something odd, the color of the panel. So if I select uh, the nested door panel family, you can see the panel material is right here. Again, I'm going to associate it and selecting panel material. You can see it switch to more of a wood color. Okay, final thing you must do, select the door panel in the options bar that is in green right here. Click on add parameter. It doesn't need to be shared. Let's just place it a family parameter. And I'm just going to call this type of panel. It should be probably a type parameter. Uh, all right. And that's it. Basically inside of the family itself, you don't need to insert in the family all the panels that you could potentially use. You just need to have one since we're going to use the nested share panel strategy in this case. So this family is ready to be loaded back into the project. And now the nice thing about it, even though I only included a single panel family, by with the type of uh, panel family type parameters that I've added, I can easily switch to another one, like a type two, for example. So that's a way you can quickly create a door and use your entire collection of panels. One of the downside of using this technique is that it might mess up your door schedules. What I mean by that, if you're looking at the schedule, you can see that even the panels themselves, the panel families are included in the schedule. There are two strategies you can use to remove them from your schedule. It depends which version of Revit you are using. So let's say that you're using at least Revit 2022 or a more recent release. In this case, we're in Revit 2024. What you can do is go to filter and use filter by family and type. And you can enter contains in this case, for example, we've set a special prefix for the panel families, which is dr underscore sp. So we're going to enter just that, dr underscore sp. And in fact, it should be does not contain, so we remove them from the schedule. And you can see all the panel families have been removed. Of course, you must ensure that they're properly named. Let's say that you're using an older version of Revit, like Revit 2021. You cannot filter, sadly, by family uh, and type instead you can filter by type comments so you will need to set one of parameter it can be type comments or other in this case we've set the parameter called panel to them so we're going to go back to filter filter by type comments does not equal panel and you can see all these um, nested door panel families have been removed from the schedule except this one so let's add uh, the panel type comments and they're going to be gone from the schedule and final problem that some of you might face when using uh, this technique for door panels, in some cases, if you try to swap from one door panel to another, you might get a result that looks like this, where the panel kind of moves. It doesn't keep its original position. So this issue is caused by not properly naming and setting the as reference parameter to the reference planes. In all private families, the reference planes you can set uh, this value to is reference and you can give them a name. So to avoid these kinds of problems, in this case, for example, we switch this is reference and we set it to left. This one is going to be a right. This one is going to be uh, front. And this one finally is going to be back. The center ones have already been named. And you can also give them a name. It can be the same as the is reference parameter. And typically, this is important, especially if you're going to use the reference plane that is not named and you align and lock it, that's where you might have issues. So it's a good practice 
that you will uh, give a name and set the correct is reference parameter to all your nested door panel families to avoid this positioning issue. If you've enjoyed this video, check out our Revit Doors collection that is included in the BIM Pure membership. It uses high quality principles for these door families, including the one using the nested shared panels for all of the doors that has been showcased in this video. Uh, you can customize the door swing, set an existing swing, and even change the angle to whatever you want. We have doors including a wood frame, steel frame, steel for exterior, we have egress doors, uh, folding doors, pivot doors. And for every single one of these, again, you can easily go to the top properties and swap to any panel that you want. The doors collection is included with the BIMPure membership, which also includes our collection of Revit courses, also downloadable contents, including the pro template, Dynamo scripts, our collection of pamphlet PDF guides, and also mini courses with different experts on topics such as landscape and developing a custom Revit toolbar. The membership also includes live master classes on different topics and replays of past events. And finally, you get access to the Guardians community to ask questions. We are constantly adding new content on the BIMPure membership based on questions asked by the users. Join now at BIMPure.com.